I recently found out about Legion Solar, which is kind of a, a do-it-yourself solar installation. And we decided to, to take the plunge. We found out about it from this uh, Kickstarter. And the basic idea behind Legion Solar is that uh, each solar panel has a microinverter on it. And it's designed to be, uh, everything is designed to be installed after the meter. So uh, it uses a solar regulator to see how much uh, usage you have and to not supply more solar energy back into the system than what you're using. Um, and so uh, we decided to start out with a, a small system and see how it works out. Um, each one of the, the systems is can provide around 300 watts of power. I mean, it's got an app and uh, just various little things like this. Uh, so you can see that their their website, you start with uh, 300 watts, which is two of these panels here. And you can add on as you see fit. So to figure out how much we wanted to start with, um, you can see that this is our usage that we use from our electric company. And on average, we're using whatever that figures out to 15 uh, kilowatt hours a day, give or take a little bit. But I wanted to show this because this is kind of interesting. We were at home for all of this time, but then starting here on 823, we actually uh, went away for a little while, and we have a a uh, thermostat that detects when we're there and when we're not, and when we're not, it automatically does not run the air conditioner or anything like that. So you can see that uh, starting on Friday, we were not there. So if I pull up the details for something like Saturday, you can see that pretty much all day long, we're using 280 watt hours uh, for any given hour. Um, the each one of the solar panel systems provides you with around 300, but in the sizing guides they say that you should assume that you're going to need about 1.4 times what you're actually using in solar capacity. You're going to need 1.4 times the solar capacity of what you're actually using. So if we're using a hair under 300 watts every hour, then we're going to need around 450 watts. Uh, and that's just to offset our usage during the day. Obviously, this, is, this doesn't even uh, take anything after the, the sun has stopped shining into account. But just to try it out, we decided to start out with two systems. That, so we have the... Uh, and that should, in theory, give us about 600 watts of power. So what we decided to purchase, I want to show the, the list of, of what we actually ended up ordering, and then I'll kind of explain how it's all going to work out. Um, we ordered the main starter set, which is going to be two panels plus various other little bits. We ordered an expansion set, which is two more sets. And then the rest of these things here are uh, what we're going to use to actually attach it to our house. Um, we've got uh, four of the mount points, uh, various in clamps and uh, rails. And just to, to show you a little bit more about how that's going to work. Um, so if we look at this, we're going to have these four panels like this. So so there, that's essentially the expansion set and the starter set. Um, to actually attach everything to the house. Um, if we follow this here for just a little bit, um, you can see that we're going to have each each one of these four, this is what actually attaches to the roof, and then you, so that is the four composite shingle easy roof mount with L-foots. Um, you have two rails that attach to that. And so that's the uh, the rail kit here. 
and it's a set of two. And then there's a, a grounding lug just to make sure that everything is bonded uh, and grounded the way it needs to be. Um, and then to actually attach the, uh, the panels to the rails, um, we're going to have end clamps that go on the end here. So we have one set that goes here, one set that goes here. So that's two sets total of the end clamps, and you can see that we have two end clamps. And then for the interior, we're getting three of the mid clamp kits. And for the mid clamp kits, you're going to have one that goes here, one that goes here, and one that goes here. And so that's the, the three mid clamp sets. In theory, this should take care of our base base load. Um, we'll see what happens when everything arrives, which should be soon. And once we get that, then we'll uh, deal with the unboxing and the installation and everything else. Thanks for watching, and I hope that uh, you found this slightly useful.